It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Seattle Seahawks, and it's all up next. It's a stadium known for its design, its noise, and a fan base so passionate. Brock, you know this firsthand. They've retired a jersey number for them. Welcome, everybody, to Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. So glad you all could join us for this game. Kate Scott and Brock, you are on the call for it, and we're expecting quite a bit of offensive gamesmanship, partner. Some veteran savvy out there. Both of our starting quarterbacks have spent quite a long time in this league, and they've got plenty of experience to show for it. Yeah, I like the way you say that right there. Gamesmanship and veteran savvy. Father mm. time, he chases down these skill guys. It's a, it's a game that's getting <laughs> younger and younger, right? Because, yeah, yeah. well, it's hard to be as fast as he have been when you were a rookie. But as a quarterback, you've got to use your years of experience. Both these guys have to play this game from the neck up and still play it at a high level. Ball is teed up. Joshua Cardi to do the honors. And away we go from Lewin Field. LaVisca Chanel to return it. He stopped on the return at the 27. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. Now we let out by the 12th year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. When Geno Smith won Comeback Player of the Year, it was really hard to find another comp. You know, the NFL, we love to always compare and contrast guys from different eras or project them moving forward. But there just were not many stories like Geno Smith, who just waited and persevered a decade, a decade in the NFL before he flourished. But what came to life finally was just the arm strength, the accuracy, the playmaking ability that was there at West Virginia, and it just took some time and maybe a little love from Pete Carroll at that time to really elevate his confidence and elevate his game. It's not made that time by the rookie from Florida State. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Running with Walker again. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite out of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Smith on third and short. He puts some power on a deep one left. And they really went for it on third down, didn't they? But the heave falls incomplete. Now they're facing fourth down. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And fourth and four coming up. You know, that was a play, Kate, right there, where you need to buy your receivers just enough time to get open along their routes and your quarterback enough time to find and hit him with the throw. Time? Well, that's not what he had. O-line couldn't hold up, and it forces the incompletion. And he's brought down before the return gets far. So the Rams offense getting out there for their opening drive of the game. And they're brought out by the 16-year pro, rebounded from an injury last season, Matthew Stafford. Long before this guy named Mahomes in Kansas City was throwing no-look passes and crazy off-platform throws, there was a guy doing it in Detroit. His name was Matthew Stafford. Nobody really noticed, though, because the Lions, they just didn't win enough to be relevant. Well, fast forward to putting Matthew Stafford in L.A., and we know the rest of the story. A Super Bowl champ, and after being banged up a year ago, came back and elevated those Rams to yet again another playoff opportunity. When I think of the guys that I just simply love to watch throw it, there's not very many on this planet that do it better than Matthew Stafford. Galloping inside the 40, and he flips the field for them before being taken down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Things looking totally different after that last play. It's first and 10 inside the opposing 30. They fake the handoff now, Stafford. That's on target, Puka Nakua. And he takes this in. Touchdown, Los Angeles. 
The Rams don't need long to take a 6-0 lead. It's a Puka Nakua touchdown. Well, Brock, they could prove me wrong, but I don't think touchdowns are going to come that easily the rest of this game. But starting out, we all welcome the quick score. Yeah, not a lot of energy exerted, right? Not a lot of their cards shown just yet. They only got a couple plays into their strategy, and they found pay dirt. A lot of mystery still to come with what they're going to do schematically. A lot of answers have to be found defensively. Point after converted from Cardi. And his guys will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Here's Chenault on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27th. So Seattle retakes the field for their second series. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They go play action. Here's Smith. He throws a bullet down the left side. He's got it deep downfield. That one goes for 31 yards and a first down when all is said and done. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You got to get the big play, and that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Some careful consideration, and Sean McVay will indeed challenge the call. Well, we're going to see how much of a sideline maven he is, Brock. This one very close, whether he got the feet down or not. And I'm so impressed by all these mavens, because you've got to make that <laughs> transition from college we're one foot, you're yeah. good. Yep. But not at this level. You've got to be a ballerina. You've got to get those toes both in, and the replay booth will be the judge of it. So the challenge ends up successful. He, in fact, did not get both feet in. This is incomplete. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. But give up the gut to Walker. And he'll take this up to around the 29-yard line. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Throwing on third, Smith. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. Man, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass, and then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. First and 10 now. Here's Smith. This is Metcalf working that right side. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. The big play nets him 17 yards. And the Seahawks will have a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch. And that quarterback will find you again. Putting the tight end in motion. First down, Smith to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Oh, 
Toss play. This is Walker. This is ahead for about five. That was Darius Williams on the tackle. Here's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Shotgun now on third down. Has it down close. Touchdown, Seattle. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock. And they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Now it's Jason Myers on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Seahawks tie this game Myers now to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Rams headed back after their second drive now. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. They're out and set, first and ten. Stafford now. His pass caught by Nakua. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. The play fake, it's Stafford. Able to hit Robinson, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, well, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. New set of downs for him at the 38. On first down, here's Stafford. He's got it near the 10. And he is in. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Rams break the tie here in the first. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Cardi now for the PAT. Right down the middle. It's good. And these guys take the lead here. 14-7 in the first.
Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Here's Chenault on the return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Seahawks offense running out now. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. Oh, he lost the football. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. The Rams headed out to the field now. They have played lights out on offense. Scored their first two times out, Brock. A chance to go three for three and grow that lead here. So just like all touchdowns, all turnovers also reviewed, and they want to take another look at this one. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. Take that fumble away. The officials overturn the call and say he was down. They are now set for a first and ten. They'll go with Walker on the counter. And this one does not go far. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. This defense may have been headed the wrong way initially on that counter run, but they never lost contain. As that play shifted back, they flowed with it and caught him before he could break it up the sideline. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. Smith and Jigba there to grab it. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. All plays on the table here for third and three. Hand off to Walker from the gun. First down and more past the 40. And he's all the way down to the 32-yard line. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. I'll tell you what, Kay. One of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during a game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it up close and personal. And because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Cut at the 10-yard line. There it is, touchdown Seattle. Seahawks cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. Jackson, Smith, and Jigba with a touchdown. I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw, and then he signaled it was going to be a touchdown, like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest in the 80s? Or maybe I like know, a Tyrese you... Maxey, you know, but whatever. Well, I... The kids aren't alive, I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did. And he anticipated, just like the quarterback. Myers to add the PAT. The point after splits the upright. And the Seahawks tie things up at 14.
Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Return starts at the three. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now L.A. getting its offense all set to go. And with each team coming off a touchdown and scoring well early on, we've got the makings of a bar burner here, Brock, if they can keep this up. Yeah, and as a quarterback as an offense, it doesn't mean you overtry, but you just know, hey, man, our defense is having a hard time slowing them down, and we've got to step on that accelerator. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing now off play action. And they can't connect on the deep look. Still a couple of snaps to play with, though, here. We've got second down. That's somebody they're going to look for if he has any space deep. That space, though, Kate, just disappeared between when he let that pass go and when he actually made it down the field. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. Finds him over the middle. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Shotgun snap to Stafford. Got a man. Robinson has it. And they'll have it across midfield as he runs out. They gain 14 on the play. And the Rams are going to have a first down. They've run this 12-yard out route kick. Ooh, Mike McDonald not liking what he saw. The challenge flags hit the field. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for mm -hmm. error, and it happens oh so fast. All right, so that challenge is unsuccessful, but still a chance to earn a third one if their next challenge leads to an overturn call. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Now Stafford again. Finds his back, Kyron Williams. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. At that down and distance, this group is pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. Looking for the back that time. And it's going to be second down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. He gets this one to Nakua. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Devin Witherspoon there on the stop. Let's see what they went with on third down. Man in motion here. Stafford now on third down. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? 
But he chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Here's Chenault on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now an inside give to Walker. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. You know, that's a good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Staying with Walker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Smith back to throw. Taken in by Noah Fant. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. This is Walker on second. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Call it no gain. Maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. Running is Walker. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused on executing the play in front of them. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Walker now from the gun. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slareth, two-time Super Bowl winner, says, if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. On the carry, it's Walker. And he's brought down for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. From the gun, Smith. That's caught for the first. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. 
Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. Without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. Smith on first down. And the first down pass sent away by a defender incomplete. And that throw doesn't lead to six. And it sets up second down. Well, QB put it pretty close to the sideline to begin with. And the defender, look at him, just put his little hand right out there. It just encouraged it to fall out of bounds. Back to the air. It's Smith. He finds Fant. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. And it's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Now Walker. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap to Smith. Into the end zone, but someone's able to knock it away. That's incomplete. I'll tell you what that deflection right there, Kate, tells me. That defense was following and reading the quarterback's eyes. Knew exactly where that throw was going. And it takes a little bit of intuition, a little bit of feel. He's able to get his hands on it and knock it out of bounds. Throwing on third, Smith. Can't find anyone open, and he's forced to throw it away. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know you've got to execute and convert on these third downs. Jason Myers out there now to try and field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And we're all tied up now in the first half. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Returning it from the four. This return makes it up to the 25. Possession switching back to the LA offense as they head out. It sure seems like they've been able to score every time they've touched it this quarter, Brock. So high hopes again for this upcoming series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. The first carry now for Kyron Williams. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Tackle made by Jaron Reed. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. They take the handoff now, Stafford. Able to find the Kua here. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield.
Up the gut they go with Williams. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Stafford from the gun. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Throwing is Stafford on third. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Kobe Bryant has it. A quarter down, three more to go for these NFC West opponents. Both teams neck and neck so far. More from Lumen Field in just a minute. About set for the second quarter. Seahawks football here. They have it following that interception on the final play of the first quarter. Cut by Lockett. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Now hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. Second and three now. Smith setting the throw. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Now Smith. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. It's a DK Metcalf touchdown. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Myers to add the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Seahawks break that tie and now lead by seven. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Rams and Matthew Stafford set to go back on offense. And we're all hoping his hot start can continue. He has been putting up some numbers early in this contest. First and ten now from the 30. They've got a man in motion. 
Safford now on first down. It's taken in by Williams. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 32. Hits him on the in route. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Kate, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called Air Raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. Looking to throw on third and one. Let's one fly deep downfield. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. The ability to track the ball. Right, ball skills isn't just knocking it away, and that's a beautiful job there, Kate. The ball skills is also being able to track a ball on a deeper throw like that. If he doesn't swat it away, we're looking at a huge game. Rams going upon on fourth down, and they're calling Ethan Evans to the field. And the fair catch secured here at the 16. The Seahawks back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And that front is really going to need to buckle down and provide some more opposition because he's gotten off to an excellent start here. They're out and set. First and ten. They go play action. Here's Smith. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to pull this one down and run with it. And he wisely avoids contact, sliding down there, and that played good enough for a first. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. When a play breaks down, every once in a while, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. Walker on first down. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. Tackle made by Cameron Curl. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. you got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Out of the gun, here's Smith. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. First and 10 from the 41. It's Walker on the give. Oh, what a stiff arm. It's a gain of 12 there. And it sets up Seattle with first down. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? Well, put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action, right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball to go right over their head. Going to the ground again on first. And they'll bundle this up after a four-yard gain. Tackle made by Cameron Curl. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. 
Fakes the handoff, now to throw. Into the hands of Walker. And he's gonna get it out past the 40 before he goes out. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Third down, one yard to go. To the ground with Walker. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Jason Myers out there now to try and field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. This is a 55-yard look from the left hash. And he missed it. It's no good. But a flag came down. And if it's defensive, they could get another look at three. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. You gotta be smarter than that. No reason to hit the kicker there, and that gives him a first down. They'll run here, following the penalty. And they take it across the goal line. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks take a 13-point lead. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown! Well, Brock started small at first, but then he found that lane, and it was a race to the end zone from that point on. And it takes a little bit of everybody. How many times do we hear these coaches tell us, if you're going to get a run play for a big game, it takes the whole group, all 10 of them around him, have to do their job. Got to block up front. Receivers got to block on the perimeter. They all get it done, and a big chunk run follows. Myers to add the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Seahawks double their lead to 14. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Rams set to go on offense once more. And in a high-scoring game to this point, everyone anticipating, well, even more points as they take the field. They've got first down from the 31. They bring the tight end in motion. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. Looking right, and he finds him. We'll work it a couple of yards past the line. Devin Witherspoon there on the stop. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Second and eight. Throw complete to Williams. And it's going to be about a three-yard pickup in the end. Tackle made by Ernest Jones. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. So now here's third and five. Shotgun snap to Sanford. 
He beams one deep right side. He's got it inside the 10. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Now Stafford again. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. You know what I call that, Kate? Punch? And you took a punch, but then you countered right back. You give up a big play, massive play, but you don't hang your head. You come right back, you get a sack of your own, and you change the momentum as quickly as you can. Got to forget about first down in a hurry. They need a chunk of yards here on second and goal. Trying again, following the sack. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Cooper caught the intended receiver. So they'll be left with third and goal. Working from the gun. Here's Stafford. No better luck than the last play, Brock, as he just has to get rid of it. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. On comes Joshua Cardi in the Rams' field goal unit to try it on fourth down. It's a 34-yarder from that right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Here's Chenault on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Seahawks returning their offense and this running back to the field. And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. They give up the gut to Walker. And all he can get is one yard. Ran that right into the defensive front. It's plays like that, Kate, that I'm happy I'm the color analyst and you and your spotter are doing play-by-play. -play, because that was a mass of humanity. A whole bunch of bodies to sort through for one yard. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Throwing is Smith. Pass complete to Walker. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and a defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal gain. Here they come. This is third and five. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Dumped off to his running back. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Where I sit and judge a defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team. And the kick's away. He's got it at the 24. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. 
58 yards on the punt there. And the Rams will take possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. The defenders are there to get him at the line. Tackle made by Ernest Jones. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Stafford back to throw. Got Williams, and it's complete. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That pass, it did put him in a position where he had to shake a defender. That's all you want. Give me a one-on-one. -on -one. And he is capable of doing it, but not against that dude. Uh-uh, that defender could not be shook, and he knocked him back across the line. Throwing his Stafford on third. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Ethan Evans back out there. They're going to punch it away again. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And it'll be Seahawks football. The Seahawks offense ready to get going once again. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First and ten now from the 30. Here's Walker running right. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Now don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. They're going play action. Walker hauls it in. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Second and three now. They go with Walker here. Open space inside the 40. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Smith back to throw. Connects with Fant. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Putting a receiver in motion. From the gun, Smith. This one's caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. A gain of 5, Brock, and now they're going to have first and goal. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Goal. 
Shotgun snap to Smith. He's got it! And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. And again, it's Smith. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And now it'll be third and goal. Yeah, that's one that's going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. A drop touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. you got to flush that play quickly so you can make an impact later. Walker, and he's in for the touchdown. The Seahawks make it a three-possession game. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Myers to add the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the Seahawks push their lead to 18. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Tackle made by Ernest Jones. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy, right? Grab some cloth and drive him to the ground with all you got. We're at the two-minute warning now from Seattle. The Rams looking for a score before halftime. From the 29. Completed over the middle. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Offense up to the line fast. Safford now on first down. Finds him over the middle. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Stafford from the gun. Chased out to his right. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. Two yards on the pickup. And it brings up an L.A. first down. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. On first down, here's Stafford. Stays in. Defense too much. The Seahawks drag him down. Now the Rams will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime.
All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. A throw right side finds Cup. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Timeout taken by Los Angeles. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Now Stafford to throw. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. Impressive play, but they are well shy of the first down. Now Seattle going to call it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. The Rams are set to punt. Ethan Evans, the one to kick it away. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. That one hits at the six, but can't check up. It gets into the end zone for a touchback. First and ten now with all of 15 seconds left to utilize in this half. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And he found some running room for a nice game. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. We've reached halftime from Seattle. It's the Seahawks leading in front of the home crowd. Now from the extreme northwest to the extreme southeast, we're going to head down to Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report with our buddy Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a former comeback player of the year, Geno Smith, who was sharp in the first half. He got off to a hot start with two first-quarter touchdown passes, threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Rams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Stafford. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Second half starts with a run by Williams. And he couldn't do a whole lot there. Minimal yardage picked off to the 27. Only a yard for him that time, so now third and nine. Stafford. Throw complete to Williams. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. You know, Kate, that's exactly what that coverage was meant for. Make the quarterback throw it short, go up and rally, and get yourself off the field. The Rams are set to punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. Averaging a little under 50 a kick so far, Brock, as he gets away another one. 
And he found some space to do a little damage there before they bottle him up. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. You know, I'm sure Coach would prefer he not flirt with disaster on the return. No additional damage is done, however. They're fortunate to get the ball back, and everyone can breathe a little sigh of relief. The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and ten. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. And he has it along the sideline, but he got a little too close to that edge. They're going to say he's out of bounds. We've got second down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Hand off to Walker from the gun. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Jared Verse on the tackle. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Throwing on third, Smith. In the traffic, complete. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And the Seahawks will have a first down. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw into double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. Now an inside give to Walker. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. Right? Doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets you good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Left side caught by Metcalf. And he's marked down. Looks like at the 32-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it sets up Seattle with first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Running is Walker. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. They go play action. Here's Smith. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? Got to figure out this third down here. Out of the gun. Here's Smith. Cut by Lockett. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. I know on the stat sheet, Kate, that shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. Jason Myers out there now to try a field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. Ball on the right hash, the distance 43 yards. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that stretches the lead to 21. 
inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on a field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Rams headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And you know this firsthand, partner. You get above that 300 mark, you and your offense are going to have plenty of highlights to choose from by this point in the game. We're getting a look at some of them now. You just got to marvel at how well he's played the quarterback position here. They're out and set. First and ten. Stafford now. That's taken in by Cup. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 37, it's taken in by Williams. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That's a pickup of nine. And the Rams are going to have a first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers, they seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now Stafford again. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Kobe Bryant has it. And the Seahawks get it back as he intercepts him for the second time this game. Well, that's now a second time that he's put his defense in a tough spot. That's a hard thing about playing quarterback, Kate. You know, with these interceptions and now the second on the day, you're asking your defense again to step up to another series, another possession, another challenge. This quarterback's got to start protecting the football. The Seahawks offense taking the field now. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays have followed. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. The give now to Walker. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. They'll come up first and 10. Throwing is Smith. Pass taken in by Lockett. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers are also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. Working inside the red zone. 
Has it down close. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Smith in the pistol. Escapes the pocket. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks parlay the interception into points. Geno Smith with a touchdown. His fourth total score of the game. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Myers gets the point after to go. And the Seahawks continue piling on to this lead. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Off the play fake. It's Stafford. His pass caught by Nakua. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They'll get 31 yards on the play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45, Brock, with a new set of downs to boot. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. Able to find Nakua here. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. You know, Kate, years ago, my old high school receiver and I got together for a football camp. I could still close my eyes and throw him that slant. We've done it millions of times. You get a QB receiver connection like that, it's dynamite. Straight ahead with Williams. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Stafford from the gun. The throw is caught. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. Third and just two to go. Working from the gun. Here's Stafford. Catch is made in close. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. 
They get two on the play, and now they've got first and goal. Hey, Kay, you know this from covering the Seahawks, calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. And he runs it across. Touchdown! The Rams shrinking the lead some in the third. Matthew Stafford the touchdown. His third total score this game. Wow, Brock, hard to imagine a more effective play in their entire playbook for that particular spot right there. You know, you get in this red zone, Kate, you want the ball in the hands of the guys you do trust the most to score. In a lot of cases, well, you trust your quarterback, and all he did was add to that trust. Cardi now for the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And his guys cut the lead by a quarter. Down now to 21. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Here comes Williams on the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. This offense headed out as we get a look at their running back. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has him with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. And he's tackled for a short game. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Staying with Walker. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Stop made by Braden Fisk. It's a gain of six, and they only need half of that now on third and three. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down can be so demoralizing to that defense. New set of downs for him at the 38. They kick the running back in motion. First down, Smith to throw. We've got a screen to the running back. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. They steal the frequency on those opposing headsets. Somebody reading lips or steal a signal from the opposing sideline, Kate, because somehow this defense knew what was coming. They broke on that screen. It was incredible. What a stop. This is Walker on second. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. From the gun, Smith. He's going to push one deep down the right. Well, they had the look, certainly didn't shy away from it, but couldn't connect, and now they're stuck facing fourth down. He was looking DK Metcalf's way there. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. 
You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. Starts his return from the 23. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead. And that's going to award their offense a first down. This drive should have been over, partner, but running into the puncher gives him new life and this first down. Blitz coming for Smith. Broke through the tackle. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Smith on first down. Cut out left. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Excellent pickup to move the chains. 36 yards in the end. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. Big play got him to the doorstep, Brock. Four more yards now in goal to go. Walker. Will not get past the line. He's held up at the four. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, they did the job on first down. More to come. Shotgun snap to Smith. Cut near the goal line. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. Buckle up. It's third and goal. They'll try to run it with Walker. And he's not going to reach the end zone. They bring him down at the one. Just a one-yard pick up there. Now a call to make on fourth and goal from the one. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Jason Myers out there now to try and field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. This is a chip shot from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the advantage now sits at 24. So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And look at this return. Races past midfield. Field flipping return as he brought it down on the opposite side of the 50. Well, at this point, they're going to take points any way they can get them, and that includes on special teams. He's had a ton of kicks in his way, a bunch of returns today, and he nearly made a pay with that one. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. First and 10 from the 41.
Shotgun snap to Sanford. To the left and pulled in by Cup. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. Julian Love bringing that one to an end. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 39. Able to hit Robinson complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's Rams football, and they're probably ready to just get this final quarter over with. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. From the red zone now. Looking end zone, but touchdown denied. Knocked away, incomplete. Well, I'll tell you what. What that deflection is all about is following the quarterback's eyes. DP knew where that throw was going. With that intuition, he's able to get a hand on it and send it right out of bounds. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Running right, it's Williams. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. These stops, they don't always make the end of game highlight reels, but they absolutely should. The coaches and players know it. Offenses are always counting on yards on that type of run. And any time it results in a loss, it could be a potential drive killer. Throwing to Stafford on third. Too far out of the back of the end zone it goes, incomplete. Well, you've got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you've got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. Stafford going to go on fourth. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. This offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. You know, Kate, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Walker running to the right. No one around. He's got space. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a pickup of 26. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Kate, that's the type of run that shines the light well on him as a runner, of course. But you got to give a lot of credit to everybody else. So, skill guys, when you have an outside run, they got to do their job. Not just the big boys up front, not just the running backs. That takes everyone on the perimeter blocking to get a big run like that. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Second and ten now. Connection made to Smith and Jigba. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. But anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. On third down, Walker. First down and more past the 40. And he gets this one down to the 27. That one goes for 25 yards. And it sets up Seattle with first down. 
That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. They have themselves another first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Smith. And he let his man just a little too much there. That's an incomplete pass. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, and not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Walker now from the gun. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle... It prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. Going to the ground again on first. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign? Well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. Pressure comes, Smith, he's got it. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. And he's brought down for a loss. There's no question that offensively you're disappointed when you're in these goal to go and you go backwards. But this is one of those situations, Kate, where I got to give a tremendous amount of credit to that defense, that surge, that want to, that leverage to not just stop them at the point of attack, but knock them two yards backwards. A give up the gut to Walker. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. So now, here's third and goal. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. And this is caught. It's a Seattle touchdown. The Seahawks keep running away with this. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. Some players, that's the world they thrive in, finding windows where windows shouldn't exist and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. Point after up and good for Myers. And the Seahawks grow their lead yet again. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Out come the Rams on offense. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing now, Stafford. Looking right, and he finds him. And he's short of the first after a mild game.
After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now they'll throw out of the gun. A throw right side finds Cup. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Safford now on first down. That's Cup on the slant. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It's a pickup of 11. And the Rams are going to have a first down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. That's low and bounces short of his man. Looking for his wide receiver there. So second down coming up. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now Stafford again. Nakua nabs this one along the sideline. And he'll go out of bounds close to that 35-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On first down, here's Stafford. His pass caught by Nakua. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And the Rams are going to have a first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. They send the tight end in motion. Finds his target, Robinson. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. 16 yards on the play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Rams making the scoreboard look a touch better. Cooper Cup the touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. Cardi now for the PAT. Right down the middle. It's good. And these guys get it back to a full three possessions now. 24 points. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Here's Chenault on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line.
They're out and set. First and ten. It's Walker on the give. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. And with that run, he's eclipsed Adrian Peterson's mark of 296 rushing yards. And with it, set a new single-game benchmark for what it means to run the football well. You call that first down running play. You don't always expect to get those kind of yards, but they'll take that every single time. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down, and they go right back to him. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. Running with Walker again. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, listen to this crowd. They just showed it up on the big board, Brock. He is now the single-game rushing yards record holder. This is pretty cool, Kate. I was there in person when this record was broken the first time many, many years ago. Sean Alexander in a monsoon to see it then and now get to call it right here next to you in the booth. Pretty special stuff. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate, right? When you make a stop like that on first down, now it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. To the ground with Walker. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Battle coming up on third and inches. And they go with Walker here. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. And it's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. The drive picks up here, first and ten. They go play action. Here's Smith. He lets a heater go deep, middle of the field. And yeah, that's going to be knocked away, incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And we'll see what they do here on second down. I don't fault the look downfield at all. I mean, that was just a situation there where it's a better defensive play than the offense executing. Now Walker. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. From the gun, Smith completes beyond the marker. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Shotgun snap to Smith. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. On the carry, it's Walker. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Oh. 
And up to Walker from the gun. And stop me if you've heard this before, Brock. They've scored again, and they grow that lead further. The Seahawks continue piling it on here in the fourth. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. So an exclamation point there. That caps off what, and I think you'd agree, Brock, has yep. been a dominating performance. Yeah, I would. Really in all phases, too. You know, I thought yeah. coming in that this would be a much closer game than how it's turned out to be. And you got to give credit where it's due. This offense has been outstanding throughout. Mm -hmm. Myers to add the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the Seahawks tack on seven more to their lead. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The visitors ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Stafford from the gun. Got a man, Robinson has it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. He gets this one to Nakua. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Sanford. That'll be incomplete, and the clock shows 10 seconds left. You hear defensive coaches on every practice field we're on preach not giving up the big play, especially at the NFL level. They'll need to stay vigilant because they're definitely going to use that receiver to take the lid off this defense again. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. He'll throw it yet again. Able to hit Robinson complete. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. All right, this is going to be the final play of the game. One final shot here. Need this to force overtime. And that pass falls incomplete. Well, they kept trying. They kept taking shots to the very end. But now we have reached that end. This one's over. So it's a win for the Seahawks. And Brock, we all know any win is a good win. But playing against a division rival, oh, it always feels so much better dealing that one in the L column. These are the teams that know you best, Kate. Mm -hmm. but also the ones that you know best. So, yep. yes, it is just a little bit sweeter when you take care of business in your own division. So for Brock Heward, everyone here on our great crew, I'm Kate Scott, and this has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Seahawks winners, as we say so long from Seattle.